remember last week in Bahrain when both Red Bulls shat themselves out of the race at the very last minute? Bruh, bruh. Handing Mercedes third and fourth. All the Mercedes fans were like, ha ha, karma, karma for Red Bull and Horner, suck it up Red Bull, hashtag karma, absolute karma. Mercedes themselves tweeted, you love to see it. The definition of karma. Karma, a cycle of cause and effect referring to the actions and the consequence of those actions. Action. Mercedes fans are unbearable arseholes after getting lucky in Bahrain. Consequence. As Hamilton makes his way around the final corner and he goes only 15. Here comes Lance Stroll and he goes 15. Big shock here in Saudi Arabia tonight. Lewis Hamilton for the first time since Brazil 2017 has been knocked out in Q1. No, it's I'm speechless. And so the cycle is complete. As you can imagine, Hamilton fans didn't take this too well. But in a varying degree of insanity. First, there were the normal people. Didn't think I'd be typing this. Lewis out in Q1, broken heart emoji. Fair enough. Perfectly reasonable. Then there are the slightly unhinged people. I hate Mercedes so fucking much. They were talking since summer about W13, how amazing it will be. And now Lewis is out in Q1 since Brazil 2017 because of this fucking tractor. Bit over the top, but still understandable. But then, there were the people that have completely lost their grip on reality. The sort of people that brush their teeth with a bar of soap. As I predicted, Lewis out in Q1. This literally never happens. Mercedes and all of F1 are out to stop Lewis Hamilton getting eighth title. But karma's a bitch. Look what happens when you try to mess with the GOAT. Be careful what you wish for, F1. Hashtag Hamilton is anointed. Eh? You're fooling no one, Mercedes. F1 is out to stop Lewis Hamilton getting eighth title. Race control stopped him from pitting by not opening the pit lane. And you didn't let him go in the pits even though two other teams did. But be warned, Lewis knows your game. Hashtag as I predicted. How much brain damage would you need to be this annoyed at a race where we got an epic battle for the lead, plus loads of midfield action, a proper banger? So Lewis had a bad day? Who gives a fuck? Apparently more people gave a fuck. Lewis Hamilton out in Q1 and I'm so happy. Hamilton out in Q1, you love to see it. That's your goat. Hamilton out in Q1, love to see it. Ha ha. So some people were happy that Hamilton got knocked out in Q1, while others have started plotting their revenge against the entire world. But one thing everybody agreed on was that the F1 TV race director is a twat. Every time something interesting happened, they cut away from it to something completely pointless, like a slow motion replay of a thing we literally just saw, or even worse, a crowd shot. There was a moment when Verstappen overtook Leclerc for the lead of the race. We saw the two of them barrel into the first corner before they cut away to this. Stop it. So that was annoying. But we almost didn't see any on-track action at all. On Friday, a missile hit the Aramco oil facility just six miles away from the circuit. On Friday night, all the teams and drivers went into this little room and had a secret meeting until three o'clock in the morning. Some reports even said the drivers threatened to boycott the race. These discussions were unprecedented. Unprecedented, without previous instance, never before known or experienced. And the fans were not happy. After many, many years of watching F1, I will not be at all. This track can fuck off. I'm a lifelong F1 fan and I will not be watching the race tomorrow. If the drivers can't boycott the Saudi Arabian GP, then I will. Despite these terrifying threats from random people on the internet, the race went ahead. And to be fair, you know how people over-exaggerate things on social media? I'm sure it was nothing serious. Okay, that looks pretty serious. Speaking of things burning, Gordon Ramsay was in attendance. He was there to congratulate Sergio Perez on achieving his first ever pole position. Mick Schumacher had to sit out the race after his horrific crash in FP3, which is a shame because Haas have been raging this season. Kevin Magnussen was fighting with Lewis Hamilton in a Mercedes and he beat him by nine seconds. Welcome to the fourth dimension where everything you thought you knew about reality is backwards. Haas is faster than Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton struggles to finish in the points. Ferrari don't fuck their drivers over with bad strategy. Verstappen goes wheel to wheel without decapitating anybody. And Nikita Mazepin is a likeable person. No, even in the fourth dimension, he'd still be a cunt. Hey, everybody. Fuck off, you thick cunt. <laughs>